Welcome back. In our last adventure, we went through more of the ship graveyard, fought some more skeletons, and found out that Faris has nice circles. Ahem, she's a one. Okay, preferredness aside, I'm Magma WK. Or you can just call me Magma sh for short. Or you can just call me a guy wandering through a ship. And we're finally above sea level here. So let's see what we can see. Yeah, we can walk through the little spaces. That's gonna get us into trouble anyways. Over the seas, let's go men and women. Push a bread off, push a bread off, again. Also, I got a world map! That'll be extremely useful. And it makes you wonder why no one was carrying it in the first place. And here comes the delicious, delicious loot we've been looking for. Antidote, antidote, and more antidotes. Phoenix down. I'll gladly take all those. And here's some more of our Lumber Beast. They're holding delicious tonic for us. Just for you curious, they're nothing to be scared of. Weak against wind and lightning. Because even when you hit wood with thunder, it usually gets caught on fire. Makes sense to me. And when the bl wind blows really hard, trees usually come down. And then you have to clean up all the branches. And then you have to have guys gain level. Nothing wrong with gaining level, just have to give them more hit points. And what the heck is this thing? It's a psycho head. A pair of psycho heads attached by a tongue. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. But why are they attached in the first place? Unfortunately, skin won't tell me the answer. Psycho heads scream at you. They scream all the sanities. Well, they are psychotic after all. And steel doesn't always work. Gosh darn ninjas. No, Faris isn't a ninja. She is a thief. And yes, I was purposely hiding her right gender identity for the first nine parts of this playthrough. I didn't slip up once. Although I kind of hinted at it a couple times. It's just me being silly. Now what was I going to talk to you about today? Oh yeah! Talk to you about Swimming. I'm a good swimmer, although it's been a long time. Do you remember the last time you swam? Was it a pool, a river, or somewhere else? When did you learn how to swim? I learned when I was a mere five years old. I took official swimming lessons. And since then, I've been very buoyant. Wait a minute. If a female learns how it floats very well, is she girlins? Buoyant girlins. Horrible jokes aside, 
Let's hop on to our next treasure. Wait a minute. That's not a treasure. Uh... That's an earthquake chest, I guess. No idea how it works. Don't question anything. I just want to get out of here. This place is scary. Full of undead. So let's hop along and finally made it to the beach. Hooray! Don't ever, ever say that. Because when you do say that, something bad does happen usually. Or does it? Who the heck is this? It's Stella! You'll remember Stella from Final Fantasy IV and that explosive guy. No, this is a different Stella. It's Magma's mommy. My mom's real name is not Stella, by the way. But this is confusing. Speaking of confusing, here's another spark. It's Rena's father. This is not making any sense. But why is Faris being hypnotized? And there's Kryol! Ahem, I mean a girl. Grandpa. So, Gullif is a granddad. Really? Wait a minute. But Gullif has amnesia. So who is she, anyway? So apparently... Our souls are being taken? I don't like that idea. Oh my. It's the Saren. Sirens cry out to the pirates and lure them to their doom. Apparently an amnesia will save you in this case. Ah, thank goodness. Ow! Is that really necessary? And he has nothing against hitting women either. So we got our souls back, thank goodness. And apparently victory music plays, because I opened my eyes. Thank you, Golov. Speaking of which, let's take care of this thing. It's the Siren! Yes, indeed. And she looks mad. And she has nothing but steel. Except her voices. Oh my! I cannot allow you to do that, dear Siren. So let's find out a little bit more about this Siren. No weaknesses, no strengths. And I already knew that. Why'd I do that? Gullif with his stored power. And a critical, luckily. Your cure means nothing. My damage way outputs your cure. Too bad you muted the thief. The non-magic user. That, on the other hand, might cause some problems.
change to undead. Oh my, it's the undead version of the Siren. Which I suspect is now weak against Holy. She looks like a zombie. Yep, she gained the undead aspects. And is strong against physical damage. And hurts a hell of a lot more. <laughs> oh yeah, Gull of Counters. And for our Syrian friend, I have a present. Thank goodness. And Rena now has the second tier of white magic. And flee. Easy escape, in case Eleanor don't work. And also for trouble, bronze shield. Nobody cares about shields. What we care about is having our lives. So Gullif is the new uh, VIP. And his face is all red. Even though you can't really tell through that beard. <laughs> anyway, before we leave, let's find out what we have here. Rena now has level 2 white magic. But we're going to have to get the spells for that in our next town. Surely we will make it to our town in our next video. Or will we? One moment, and we'll see where the end of this cave leads to. Or is it the beginning of a cave? <laughs>